Hi, we'll be talking about corporate accounting and to be more specific, we'll be talking accounting for income tax. The subject code is HI5020 and it is based on an individual assignment for trimester one, 2020. My name is Fabrice Menani and my student ID is BIZ3007. So the company I've chosen to talk about is called St. Barbara Limited. It was established in 1969 and it is an ASX 200 listed gold mining company. And it has its operations in Western Australia, Papua New Guinea and Canada. The company's net worth in mineral resources are 11.97 million ounces of content gold and all reserve of 5.94 million ounces of content gold. Its cash at bank is 110 million and a debt of 112 million and it has an available debt facility of 200 million as at 30th of June 2019. So we'll be discussing the different terms under the income tax um, subjects, such as accounting profits, taxable profits, temporary difference, taxable temporary difference, deductible temporary difference, deferred tax and deferred tax liability. Accounting profit, also known as income tax, is disclosed within the company's income statement as per financial state standards. Taxable profit is the gain or loss realized upon income taxes due by an entity. It is based solely on operating profits. However, taxable earnings can arise from dividend income, interest earning, and capital gains. Temporary difference can occur when there's a difference between the carrying amount of an asset or liability and the tax base. So it can be either deductible or taxable. In both aspects, the variance are settled when the amount of asset or liability brought forward is recovered or settled. In other words, it is the difference between financial and tax accounting. Temporary difference is described as a temporary difference that will yield tax amounts in the future when recognizing taxable profits or losses. Deductible temporary difference, this difference arises when a temporary difference will yield amount that can be deductible in the future when determining taxable profits or losses. Next, we'll be looking at deferred tax liability. Deferred tax liability is a tax that is assessed or is due for the current period, but has not yet been paid. The default comes from the difference in timing between when the tax is accrued and when the tax is paid. Deferred tax liability records the fact the company will in the future pay more income tax because of a transaction that took place during the current period, such as installment sale receivable. Next, we'll be looking at deferred tax assets. Items on a company's balance sheet that may be used to reduce taxable income in the future are called deferred tax assets. The situation can happen when a business overpaid taxes or paid taxes in advance on its balance sheet. These taxes are eventually returned to the business in form of tax relief. Therefore, overpayment is considered an asset to the company. The deferred tax asset is the opposite of deferred tax liability, which can increase the amount of income tax owed by the company. Let's have a look at St. Barbara's tax expense for 2019 and 2018. As per this consolidated comprehensive income statement extract, as at 30th June 2019, the income tax expense is 60 million 131 thousand for 
the question was asked, is there a difference between the corporate tax rate and the one from St. Barbara? Yes, there is a variance of 1,157,200. So if we take 30% of the profit before tax, it will give us a result of 61,288,000. The main reason for this variance will consist of tax effect of amounts not deductible, taxable in calculating taxable income, equity settle, share-based payments, recognition of previous unbooked deferred tax assets in Papua New Guinea, permanent difference on taxable income, research and development incentive, permanent differences arising from foreign exchange within the tax consolidated group. We can see that St. Barbara Limited has both deferred tax assets and liabilities. So the total of deferred tax assets is 43,932,000 and the total of deferred tax liability is 153,342,000. So let's uh, find out the difference between income tax payable and income tax expense. As per AASB 112, an income tax payable, which is categorized as a current liability on the balance sheet are monies due to tax authority. This is an estimation of how much the tax will be payable in the future. Income tax expense, on the other hand, is entered on the income statement. The reason being that the entity has made aware of the monies due to the tax office based on the business practice. Another important question was why the income tax expense within the income statement differs from income tax paid in the cash flow. The difference would be in the income statement, the income tax expense is representative of the total tax payable based on the entity's profit for financial year 2019. But income tax within the cash flow statements is actually money paid to the tax authority during the period. In most cases, the amount of tax paid is usually tax payable of the previous financial period. Let's have a look at the permanent differences of St. Barbara Limited and the reasons why. Permanent differences happen because of taxable income due to research and development incentive. Secondly, permanent difference arising due to foreign exchange within the tax consolidated group. So um, let's have a look at the insight gain for this project. Um, first of all, tax payable is not always 30%. This will vary upon the size of a business and the operations of a business. Income tax expense is not comparable to any other expenses as well because they are treated differently. And tax treatment comprises of tax at the beginning of a period, tax expenses, tax paid, tax liability, and deferred tax. Thank you for watching.